3D terrain maps are awesome maps that give you a real way to feel and see what a place actually is like. 3D terrain maps make a great way to remember a trip. They're great for gifts and for education. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a terrain map of anywhere that you want. Export it as an STL file for 3D printing and 3D print it in either one or multiple colors. Well, let's get started. We'll be using a program called Touch Train, which is entirely free. I'll leave the link for this and anything else we discuss in the video in the description below. Click to enter the main interface, which is a map and a bunch of parameters on the right. The first important one is the elevation data source. The default selection is perfect for the United States, but if you're in another country, you'll need to select a worldwide option. I usually increase the transparency slightly just to make it a little easier to see the map. You can find any location you're interested in by panning around the map with your mouse, or of course you can type in any location that you want into the address search bar. For our first example, let's make a simple rectangular terrain map of Mount Rainier. It easily located it. Now you can just click recenter on map to recenter the box of the terrain map selection. Every time you click recenter on map, it will readjust the box size based on the zoom position of your window. You can select any width you want for the size you actually want your 3D print to be, and then it'll automatically adjust the height. I usually like to make it square, so after it automatically adjusts the height, I'll just move around the rectangles on the map to make it so I have a 100 by 100 millimeter square. Once the size is good, you can give the terrain map some base thickness. I usually will go with either five or 10 millimeters for the base thickness. The last step is the vertical exaggeration. This one, you might have to mess around with a little bit, but generally for mountains, you can do with a smaller value and for flatter terrains, you'll need a larger value. Click the green button to export. And then once it processes, you can click to preview the STL. And in this case, it's way over exaggerated. So we'll want to lower the vertical exaggeration. Click back and then you can use the link to go back to the view of the terrain that you had previously. Now, instead of 10, let's try 2.5 exaggeration. That looks much better. You can always go back and make additional adjustments. Like in this case, I wanted to get a little bit more terrain in there altogether. So I made the overall box a bit bigger and scaled the exaggeration up a little bit as well. And I liked how that one came out, so I'll go ahead and export that STL. Square terrains are great, but now I'll show you how to use Google Earth to generate a terrain with a perimeter, like this Virginia example I made before, or the United States outline. So let's use Tennessee as an example. From Google Earth, click New to create a new local KML file and give it a name. Then go ahead and select the polygon icon at the top and start drawing a polygon of whatever terrain you have in mind. Keep in mind when you're drawing the polygon, if you accidentally click the dot twice, it will end the polygon and it won't allow you to continue editing it. So just keep in mind, you might have to start over if you do that. Once you're finished adjusting the polygon to your liking, you can go ahead and save to the project. Go ahead and give it a name. In this case, it's Tennessee and then click the three dot menu on the left side of the screen and export as KML file. Now in touch terrain, you can upload your KML file and it will automatically select the location that you identified with your polygon. This feature is great for making maps or educational toys or puzzles. And I honestly can't wait to see what you guys make using these techniques. So if you make something cool, please be sure to tag me or mention in the comments. And as you can see in this example, we have the Tennessee map with the perimeter cut out as I designed with the polygon. Now for printing. You may notice when you import these STLs into your slicer, sometimes it may throw an error saying that the edges are non-manifold or there's some issue with the STL file. That's okay, we can easily repair it. If you have Orca Slicer or Bamboo Studio and you're using Windows, you can just automatically click to repair it in the slicer. 
I'm using a Mac, so I'll use another option. First, I tried this online STL repair tool where I just uploaded the STL and downloaded a repaired version. But in this case, the STL was still non-manifold when I put it back into Orca Slicer. So instead, I'll use Fusion 360 to repair the model. You can use the maker version of Fusion 360 for free if you don't already have it. Fusion 360 is great for CAD modeling, but it also has some repair tools as well. First, just import the model into a Fusion 360 file, and then click OK once you're satisfied with the position. And then click the drop down under bodies on the left hand side. There you'll see a warning icon. Click the icon and open up the repair menu and then click OK to repair the model. Once it's repaired, you can right click the name of the model and save as mesh. Now when you load that version back into the slicer, it shouldn't have any warnings. Now this model is fully ready to print, but of course you can always take it another step. These terrain maps look pretty great just as a single color, but you can also try painting a model as well, especially if you have a multicolor printer, like a Bamboo Lab printer with an AMS, it makes it even easier, but you can also do this just by swapping the filament at each layer. If you stick to painting the layers only by height. Painting the layers by height will allow you to minimize the number of filament swaps that are necessary. In this example for the United States, I'm going to be using AMS, so I did mostly painting by layer, but I also threw in some random colors at different heights to give a more natural effect to the terrain map. If you want to print any of the terrain maps that I've created so far, I'll post these on Maker World and Printables, so check in the description for the links to those. I'll also have a couple of these available on my Etsy shop, which will be linked in the description as well. Lastly, you might want to just get the basic dimensions of your terrain map and make a simple frame in Fusion 360 or some other modeling software. Since I've been making a lot of these terrain maps, I've gone ahead and made a parametric frame in Fusion 360 where I've got some parameters that I can easily adjust to change the width, height, and other dimensions of the frame. Of course, any kind of basic frame will work. On a similar note, I've also been making a lot of cityscapes lately. So if you're interested in a tutorial on how to make these, be sure to let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please consider subscribing so you can be alerted for future videos and leave the video a like to let me know that you liked it. Thank you.